aren't you at work, Trophy? What's going on? It's because I quit, okay? I quit. You are now tuned in with Trophy. Go Trophy. We can lie, crack toes, be open. Go Trophy. Only with Trophy. <laughs> Stuck in the past watching videos of us I have been trying to get rid of your stuff But voices in my head are telling me to stop It's all I have left, all I have of you Thought hey, I was Welcome back to the channel, it's your girl Trophy With the eyebrows I'm about to do my makeup Well, finish doing my makeup And I thought I should just talk to y'all Y'all, I'm out of breath Oh, because I just walked up the stairs why I did not take a breath, I don't know, but y'all, these stairs, they be killing me. And my knee hurts right now. Y'all know I got that bad knee. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought I would just get over it and like stairs again. Because this apartment sold me. Right now, I'm putting my weight on the other leg. And because I worked out and I did like the little leg machine thing, probably wasn't the best idea, but... Mm, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm going to try to chill on it. Today is... No, today is Thursday. Today is Thursday and it is 2.18. Why aren't you at work, Trophy? What's going on? It's because I quit, okay? I quit. I quit. Yes, yesterday was my last day. I sent my little email last night. I just could not take it anymore. Now I can finally vent about the job. So um, I did get a, um, y'all remember that interview from the last video? I did get that job, but they only pay $17 an hour. So hmm, I think I'm just going to not do that. <laughs> I think I'm going to, where's my little spray? I think I'm going to go back to temping. Remember when I was temping for a whole two weeks? I think I'm going to do that. And then I can like, I was looking up other temp agencies. So they have temp agencies where it's like office work, like administrative assistant. And I think that'd be a good thing to get into. I'm still thinking about going back to school. I think I'm like right now, I'm just in a phase of just, it's not a midlife crisis, cause I'm 34. It ain't no midlife crisis, okay? But I'm going through some type of crisis because I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. And I need to have a career that I enjoy. It don't have to be perfect, but something I would want to do every day and something that pays very well. So that's where I'm at. I'm trying to figure it out. But back to my story of why I quit. I just could not work under my manager anymore, y'all. She was the manager from hell, okay? Like, I'm not even exaggerating, y'all. She was so bad she went through before me she went through so many people and um I, I would just see how she would interact with the residents like it's all elderly people she would be so disrespectful to those residents talking about them and stuff and like it's just so much like she did them them people so bad and like even like the employees she went through like eight assistant managers before I got there and then when I was there it was assistant manager who worked there um she worked there for like six days and then she quit because the manager was being so mean to her y'all like so that was before she started being mean to me I guess she just put on a face to like I don't know I guess she was like mirroring my personality because I was like very positive and just stuff like that and just all the residents love me and I'm gonna miss the residents because I don't know what they're gonna do now because it's back, it's gonna be back to that. But yeah, they because I was the one that they would be interacting with and I was very patient with them. I helped them all uh, get set up like with the online payment and stuff. She had no patience anytime anything, she'd be like, ah, ah, like in front of the residents, ah, ah, we don't have time for this, this is a business. <laughs> Like that, I'm, and I'm not even exaggerating. That's how she would be with everybody, like, but me for a while. So I was like, okay, it's cool. I can, I can stand it. Like we had this, um, and I'm just venting right now, but we had this coffee machine, y'all. 
So the car, you know, when you go in the apartment's coffee machine, people go in there. She was just like so possessive over the coffee machine. It's like, what? Like residents come in and try to make coffee. She was, ah, it's for the prospects. Why don't you try to make coffee? A coffee machine is not just for the prospects. Like in my apartments, well, it's like, wait, we had a curator at the one I worked at, but like my apartments, they got the whole little Starbucks thing and stuff. But that's for residents. They come in, like if I'm going in the office and I want a coffee, or sometimes people just go in the office just so they can get a coffee, because that's one of the perks. But she would just be so like, oh, it's not working right now. Just a lot of people. The coffee machine has always worked, but if she, she kept the uh, coffee machine unplugged. And then when people went, oh, it's not working right now. And then like even for prospects, when they came in, she would just be huffing and puffing. If people was too loud in the office, she'd be like, this is a business. Can you keep it down? And like, they weren't even loud like that, but like everything just used to get on her nerves. But anyway, the other girl that quit, like the manager that was there for six days, cause she was like, she was, she didn't take no BS, so she didn't last. But like the first time she met the girl, y'all, she, the girl walked in, cause I guess like, so when you do the onboarding, like you go through the, um, like all of the tasks and stuff, and then it tells you your start date. So on her thing, it told her start date was earlier than I guess what um, the manager thought it was gonna be, cause she thought it was gonna be another date. So the girl walks in and I see her at the door cause it's in the morning time and it's obviously my address professional. I'm like, oh, hi, you must be the new assistant manager. And she's like, hi, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. And then the manager is like right there cause she was walking by behind me and she was like, you weren't supposed to start today. Like that's the first <laughs> impression that she gave to the new hire. And then she just walked off. And then the girl was looking at me and I was looking at her, I was like, she's like, well, I could just go home. <laughs> Cause she was just like a no BS type person. And I was like, girl, mm -hmm. and then like they had, they was like getting into it for that whole little six days and she quit. She was, she was asking the girl, she was like, are you dyslexic? Cause you don't, you're not seeming to understand the information, but she wasn't really training her or nothing. But like in, when, in the beginning, she was like very, um, patient with me. She was training me. She was cool. But I just think she was like just mirroring my personality. I mean, I would definitely still see how she would interact with the residents and stuff and everything. But eventually, you know, when somebody is has their like their true colors are always going to come out. So you can't really put on a facade. But then she started acting funny towards me. And I just cannot take like energy like that. I don't know. It may make me like a little, it don't, I, I would say it may make, make me a little pump. But no, it don't make me no pump. I'm just not about to be working with nobody and it's bad vibes like that. Like, what? Um, so she was, I can't even explain. It's this thing called CRM or something. She was like, Trophy, why aren't you answering the people as uh, emails? Say that you get emails. I was like, because we don't get emails. We don't get emails. People don't email us. And then like, because you have different sources, a call, a walk-in, email, a web stuff. She's like, well, what about when they um, do like the thing with Zillow? I was like, that's not an email. That's a web request. She was like, but don't you put it in as an email? I was like, no, because it's a web request. And then I was just going back and forth. And then she was, she just going to walk off. She's like, Ugh. and I was like, I just don't, and I was kind of laughing. I was like, I don't know what you're talking. Like, I don't understand what you want me to, like, can you explain? Cause it's not, you're not making any sense. So ever since that day, she started acting funny toward me. Cause like, when you do one thing, she will like you on her bad side. And it was the, the new girl who was another assistant manager that hired, she was very mean to her towards those first couple days, like first couple weeks. And then um, she was just like always just rude to her. And she's like, well, Trophy does this. You see how Trophy does this? And, and like always like bigging me up to make the other girl feel bad. Like, cause we used to have meetings every morning. They were so long, y'all. They was like hour long meetings. And she just used to vent and talk crap. She used to talk so much crap about all the other, um, other, People that work there, like literally telling us their personal business. <laughs> I know so much people. I know who who used to work there, who got a butt surgery, who was obsessed with having a a, a Brazilian butt lift, who went to Mexico. <laughs> like literally, I just know all this stuff about people because she was just gossiping. And this lady is like, she gotta be in her sixties. She's just like an older black lady, but she was just such a b word. Y'all just don't understand. But like it was cool because I was like, okay, I'm just coming to work. She'll mess with me, whatever. I'm just gonna stick it out. But then she started messing with me. Mm -hmm. 
And I was like, okay, I got to go. And I was trying to hold on. I said I was going to stay until I got a job. I mean, technically, I did get a job. But I might not take that job. But, yeah, she was just taking it too far. And then yesterday was my final day. I was standing, like, walking into the door. And I'm always the person to say good morning every morning. And she's like, good morning. Like, she gives the most, good mm. morning. <laughs> like, if you say, mm. and then, like, in the, the ending weeks, like, if I would ask her a question, she would just, like, make things that I didn't know. She would just, like, be trying to make me uh, feel stupid. And I'm like, girl, you can't make me feel stupid. Like, just things that I wouldn't know about. Like, um, just little stuff. Like, uh, the other assistant manager had somebody come in and then... Um, I was cause it was like early. I was like, oh, somebody at the at the door uh, in the front, like maybe it's a prospect. And then uh, the other person was like, oh yeah, I came early so I can show them the um, what you call it. I was like, oh, you came early for that. And then the uh, manager's like, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> like yeah, you should know that. Why would I know that? And like that's little bitty things like that that she would just do, like try to make you feel dumb. Like, girl, you can't make me feel dumb. So I was like. I, I'm going to quit. <laughs> I don't have to be here. I don't have to take this attitude. I got this job because I wanted extra money. This is not my survival. You got me effed up. So I was like, okay, today is going to be the end. And I'm, I wasn't going to do a two weeks notice because, no, you won't, no, nah, you won't have to feel this. Because, <laughs> girl, you got me messed up. And it's so bad how she do everybody. Like the residents do petitions and they be complaining to corporate and all that type of stuff. And all type of stuff, y'all. She's so bad to the uh, other, the resident coordinator lady, and just everybody really. But I had to go. It was too much bad energy. I just, I was dreading going to work and stuff. And what? Why am I putting myself through this? And it's not like I was even. I was getting. I was a leasing consultant. I wasn't getting big bank at all. So why am I putting up with this? When I could just do temping and then be with my kids more, have dinner ready when they come home, like I'm about to have today, and uh, not be wasting so much of my life under somebody got a badass attitude. Like 40 hours a week just for, it just ain't worth it. For the amount I was getting paid, it was already just not worth it anyway. And then I have to be up under somebody, and then it's, I have to, like, I can see if I didn't have to interact with her that much, but everything, like, I have to get it approved to her. I got to go to her office to get my files approved. And then she would just be acting funny. Like, she, I used to just give it to her, and then she would just be approved and, like, talking. And then, like, now she like, oh, just leave it on my desk. <laughs> and then she would just, I don't know. She was just, like, I guess she was trying to, like, try to get me out of there because, like, I forgot to uh, get a resident to sign one of the papers, y'all. It was so much paperwork. Y'all don't understand, like, 40 pages every time somebody comes. And, like, it's a tax credit property, so it was different documents and different stuff. So sometimes you just forget. She forgets. Like, stuff just happens. And then now she, she start put associate forgot to uh, get person to sign this and that and that. But she wasn't doing that at first. So I guess she was trying to do a little paper trail. But, girl... So I quit the other job. No, it, the other job, if they would have paid, so the other job that I got, if they would have been paying more, I would work there because the, um, manager, she seemed very cool. Like not just cool. Like I do my work. I am a very hard worker. So she can't say nothing about like me not being a hard worker at all or anything like that. Cause I was actually very good. She used to always brag on me like in the beginning how good I was until she just turned on me. Cause like I was doing the newsletters. I was like, I was doing a lot. I was actually doing more than I was supposed to be doing. And, but I did learn a lot from her. I will say that. Uh, the assistant manager is texting me because both of us, we saw it because she by my age and we saw it just be texting each other when she used to do stuff because she used to do stuff all the time. And she said that today, <laughs> that today she talking stuff about me and she's saying, I don't know why I um wasted my time training her and all this. I'm like, girl, you think anybody that comes to work, you're going to have to train. 
And she's like, I don't know why I gave her such a big salary. You did not give me no big salary. I was not getting paid like that. And then she was like in a meeting because the assistant manager was just telling me because she's trying to quit too. Like I'm telling y'all, she was is just an unbearable person to work with all day long. Just you like you can't even stop and have any type of conversation with your um, co-workers at all. She gonna be huffing and puffing. And then like my desk was like right across from her office. So she just would look at everything I did and like trophy, are you done with that? Like I just cannot, I cannot. So I was like, I don't have to put up with this. But yeah, y'all. Tomorrow I'm gonna go back to the temp agency. She said I had to come in tomorrow so I could update my profile. I'm like, why you couldn't just do that over the phone? So now that I'm not doing that at the moment, I'm gonna try to get my health right, work out, uh, get my summer body on my goal for the summertime is to be in a two piece. So that my stomach gotta be flat, flat. Like flat, flat. I've been getting a lot of, I've been eating a lot of fiber the past two days. Cause they said that's one thing for a uh, high cholesterol. Um, I bought some nuts. I've been eating a lot of avocados cause I looked it up and I'm trying to do like stuff to do it myself. I still haven't made my doctor's appointment. Actually, I'm about to call. Cause every time on my lunch break, I tried to call, I, they didn't pick up because they were on their lunch break too. So today's like my first day really, you know, so I'm gonna make my appointment so I can, uh, it's just gonna be a Zoom appointment so she can tell me what what it is or whatever some people when i was looking up some people said high cholesterol maybe because of your hormones and stuff um not just just because of your diet sometimes it may be your hormones affected too i don't know but it said coffee is not good for us so i'm gonna really chill out on the coffee I, I was already chilling on the coffee i was only having coffee like two or three times a week so I think also like working at that job, I think also with working, I was kind of like messing up. I wasn't um, exercising every day like I used to. And I was eating fast food a lot, like a lot. But yeah, I know that any job, back to the job thing, I know that at any job, I'm not gonna always love the people I work with, but I just think sometimes you just gotta quit on that ass because some people are just mm -mm. and she she's not like i know like the people in the past she's telling us stories about how they tried to go to hr she had people go to hr they had like meetings they was complaining about her and stuff nothing happened so i was like i'm not even about to attempt to do that and it's like not nothing that she was really doing that i could like put into it was just i don't know it's just stuff that you know it's like uh -uh, i'm not about to deal with this but yeah and I feel like if I am going to have a boss from hell, at least I need to be making bread. Like, it, it got to be worth it. So, I'm getting ready to um, do a video that I've been putting off. Because I'd be too tired at night and too tired in the morning to wake up. So, your girl is going to be on her grind. Her grind. I'm always on my grind, but I'm having a little more time to be on my grind for real. Okay, y'all, the video is complete. I only did like a little layers. I feel like, I don't know, I kept on trying to push it down. If I would have been more patient, I probably could have made it flatter, but I'm about to take it off. Y'all know how I go, but I don't think I could take it off. Okay, yeah, I can. Cause the last time I did this, I suck at taking wigs off, y'all. I pulled some of my skin off because I had another one, but that was at the end of the day. But this one, it like it starts to stick more. Oh, it's, the longer you keep it on, but I didn't keep it on that long, so yeah, y'all. I think I'm about to start making dinner, just wings and um broccoli but i want to have it done for when the boys get home so they don't be like i want a snack i want a snack no you're eating dinner you're eating dinner. i just had a question um my insurance is through my job if i were to 
uh, not work there anymore would my how long would my insurance how um, long would I I'm so sorry to cut you off however I'm actually having a hard time hearing your voice hello can you hear me um, yes Josie this better so I rinsed off my broccoli and I'm trying to wait for it to um drain a little bit because I don't got paper towels paper towels are so important to me in the kitchen I use them for everything that's why I get it from Sam's because I use so much of them so I'm just gonna have to put the wet broccoli on the pan. Put the wet broccoli on the pan. Oh, 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 y'all saw that water. It's gonna be steamed roasted broccoli. You get a little steam with the water and a little roasting from the foil. I put I'm gonna put this on the top part so that it can um roast and I can put them both in there at the same time. My salt thing doesn't have like a strainer on it, so I gotta be very light with it so it don't just all coming out. I'm just doing this salt and pepper. Terrell lives broccoli. This morning the boys was having an argument and then Terrell was like, I'm not your best friend. And then Terrell was like, you're, I know you're not my best friend, you're my brother. <laughs> they be fighting y'all. Y'all, I knew Slate was a dog. I don't know if I told you on the vlog, but I said it somewhere. He is a dog. One, he eats like a dog. He eats human food. Two, I just witnessed him growl. Have you ever heard a cat growl? Somebody opened the door outside. Like, you could hear a door slamming outside, and he gonna growl. He said, mm-hmm. Well, that's not. He said, mm -hmm. And it lasted that long. This is Play-Doh. But, what? And then he be having like such a nice temperament when it comes to the kids. He be letting them do anything to him. He is a dog. But anyway, y'all, we're about to hurry up and go to Sam's. Oh, I just got a little message. And it said that my benefits end at the end of the month. Or I could start a cleaning service, y'all. I've been seeing a lot of TikToks of people starting cleaning businesses. Is that sustainable? That's a nice little side hustle though. Yeah, I told y'all I used to be a maid for one summer. I was a maid. I mean a housekeeper. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But imagine working like one house a day and getting paid. How much they be making you pay? Let's just say on a hundred fifty dollars. Let's say a hundred dollars. You work from like nine to how long it take to clean a house? Let's say three hours. To twelve and you make a hundred dollars. And then, what if you have two houses? I don't know. I'm just thinking of stuff, y'all. But whatever it is, I need to pick a career, pick something, stick to it, and get my life together. Hmm. But yeah, we're about to go to Sam's just to get some toilet tissue and some uh, paper towels. What if I have a book in my nose? Y'all, I'm about to start vlogging a whole lot more because your girl ain't got a job, so... Raw, real, frequent vlogs from all types of angles coming your way. Okay, we at Sam's. We gotta be in and out of here. These are the paper towels that I get last a lifetime. And then toilet tissue. I don't know. But I want to come on here and tell you guys a hack. You know how Sam's and Walmart have those people? And now HEB, like, they're trying to sell, like, energy and stuff. When they say, I have a question. Who do you, um, who's your energy provider? Just read their shirt and tell them it's them. And then they leave you alone. I do that every time when I go to H-E-B. Because it's always like a Reliant guy. And I'm just like, Reliant. And then, uh, I'm trying to see which tissue I'm going to get. I think I got this one last time. Yeah, the Quilted Northern. Oh, this one, 18. <laughs> it's just going lower and lower. But, um... Every time it works. And then today is my first time seeing a Just Energy guy. He's like, question, who you go with? Oh, they got a, a member's more. Oh, no, I don't go that far. And I was like, I looked at the shirt. I was like, Just Energy. He's like, awesome. Uh, it's a lot of people in here, so I'm about to hurry up and get on out of here. Okay, y'all. Well, here's our dinner. Apparently, this pack only had, like, the drumstick kind. No flats. So, 
Bon Appetit. I've also been drinking Olipops. They do have a little aftertaste, but if you just keep gulping, 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 it's not that bad. Because I'm trying to get more fiber, plant fiber and stuff. I'm really trying to really improve my gut health. So, y'all ready? Yes! Be ready! Hey y'all, it's a new day. Happy Friday. The oh, boys are in the back open. getting out. We're about to go to Chuck E. Cheese. I've been promising we're going to go to, well... Terrell had to get three smiley faces at school and it's been taking him a while to get that but he got three smiley faces this week so we're about to go you ready <laughs> But you gotta roll it real hard so it can go in the, up in the middle. You gotta go fast. Get him, get him. Get him. It got stuck. You gotta hit it. You gotta hit that ball off. And you're gonna be target. Can y'all even see me? It's so hot out here, y'all. Me and the boys are have arrived to the kite festival at Herman Park. I'm sweating. We we had to walk a long way just to get here, but we've arrived. So. It looks cool, they got a lot of food trucks. I'm trying to get to the kites though, because we're trying to fly kites. I'm gonna try to go on the hill. That's where all the people are with the kites. So I don't know how we're gonna get up there though with this wagon. So they probably gonna have to get out. Or we might go around to the other side. I'm not sure. Hmm, but it's a fun filled Sunday. I literally just decided to come to this this morning. So uh, that's why nobody came with me. It's just me and the boys which is still cool. Look at all the kites, y'all. We're about to go up there. This looks so cool. Look at all the beautiful kites. Let's go get some food. Look. Oh, look, we could probably get some of this wind. Oh. I just realized the little streamer. Maybe that's why we wasn't going. Cause it was like rubber band. I just thought I know what it was for. <laughs> a little blind moment, but we're gonna go back over there and see if the streamer does anything. Oh, look, it's already doing stuff. Y'all saw how I did that? We're gonna go back over there after we get our uh, shaved, is it shaved ice? I don't know what, what it is, but we saw the picture and Travel acting like he's starving. Even though it's not gonna really fill him up, at least it's gonna be something. It's long lines for everything, so. This is really good for Uncle Luigi's. Oh, it's Uncle Luigi's. It's uh, Italian ice and ice cream. This flavor is really good, like uh, diabetes good. Terrell got over the rainbow. 
and they're getting so dirty. Exhibit A. This is the ground. Those kites are so high. And look, it's up there with the airplane. I just want to know, like, what's up with these kites? They look like pretty regular kites. Are they professional kites? That's, a, that's how as high as it's going to go. Yeah, they're taking a picture with her. <laughs> uh, don't look like we're going over here. Look at the look at these lines. Just to get on this stuff. Oh no. We got it, y'all. We got it. Don't let it go. Look at her. Look at my boy. Flying a kite. That my boy right there. That my boy. That's a kite. And then my boy. It's like way better on this side. We're over here by the waterfall and stuff. Travel, get over here. It's like so windy. Travel. Woo! Go, Travel. Okay, let me do yours, Tara. You just gotta put it in the air. You just hold on to that red thing, okay? Woo! Uh oh, Tara, my head is went down. Tara, we gotta make yours a little shorter. Hey, we're gonna do it. The wind sometimes stops and sometimes it goes. This is part of, look, everybody's kite is falling. This is what happens when you fly kites. You gotta keep trying. Woo, I see. It's cause Travel's, Travel's thing is shorter. You can't make it too long, okay? Terrell is all the way over there, y'all. Terrell! He trying to go over there by that water. That's what he's trying to do. He's talking about, I want mine to go in the water. Oh, he got somebody string around his neck. Oh, Terrell's finally fell. Travel's finally fell down. Let me go help. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited that their kites are actually working. Because at first it was like, we weren't doing it right. We just weren't in the right spot. Uh oh. We're at Cheddar's, y'all. This is becoming my favorite spot. Not my favorite restaurant. I just think it's family friendly and affordable. Because obviously they have way better restaurants, but it's very affordable and I like it. The food is good, so it's a great place to come with the boys. And they have the little games. <laughs> They're really into it. Y'all, they so dirty. They so dirty. And their mouths are dirty now because they had croissants. Lord. This is my little side salad. I'm eating healthy today, but I'm also drinking the painkiller. Y'all, the painkiller. I haven't had this in a while. I've been feeling good for the past two days, so I was like, well, hmm, why not drink some alcohol? <laughs> Sit myself over the edge. So this is my healthy little meal. Definitely gotta get salmon in my diet, more of that. And I didn't know what third side to get, so I just got a salad, because all the other sides are unhealthy, in my opinion, and the green beans taste like trash, so I definitely wanna get those. And then the boys got um, shrimp. Both of them got fried shrimp. And then this is a little appetizer that we got. It's like a little cheese bites. Won't be getting this again. I don't think it's worth it. It's straight though. They like it. Thank you. And then I just got a little bit of extra bourbon glaze. But they're cool. I mean, I guess kids like them, but I don't know. Carrots. So Travel saw a light-skinned man with dreads, and he's like, that's what Mr. Phillip look like. Because it's this guy that works at the daycare named Mr. Phillip, and he has, he's light-skinned, he has dreads. It's just funny how they're just like growing and noticing things. 
the other day. Mommy, you better look at this. Uh uh, don't sit your butt down. I'm like a better look at this. Yeah, he do like that, but you better sit down. He don't be sitting. He don't be standing up on in the booths. Oh, we got the big booth by the way, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. We got the corner booth, which is great, actually. But um, the other day we went to go drop off a package at the post office. And then after that we went to Chick-fil-A. And it, when we went to drop off the package at the post office, it was a man talking to us. And he had dreads that worked like the person that received the package. And talking to the boys and everything. And then like three minutes later we went to Chick-fil-A. And it was a guy in the line that had dreads. And he was dark skinned. Like they was both dark skinned with dreads. And then Toro was like, that's the same man. <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, what? Like, this same man, mom. He was there. And he was there, and I was like, he. It's not the same man. They're just both dark skin with dreads. <laughs> it's just funny because they're just growing and like, it's just funny. I don't know. And then the other day, Travel said something. He was like, that is disgusting. I was like, what? They just be saying all kinds of stuff and doing all kinds of stuff. They just keep growing the boys. So the kite festival, it was so much fun. I didn't realize I wanted to go until. Go ahead. Uh huh. And then um, for the bill, can we pay with the thing or do? It? Yes, ma'am. And if you do pay with the thing, there will be a survey at the end. If you have the time, if you need anything. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Are you done with this? Yes. Thank you so much. Did you need any to go boxes? No. Um. Oh yeah. So I wish I would have. Cause I was debating on going. I saw it on uh, Instagram. It's this page I follow. It's like always cool stuff to do in Houston. I never go to anything. So this time I was like, they've been one. So I bought them that those kites like two years ago, back when they was into dinosaurs. I wish I would have invited my family and stuff next year. I'm gonna invite all. Next year I'm gonna invite my family and stuff. Ooh, your hands is dirty, boy. You got uh, crumbs all up on me. It's okay, but like, ew. Here, get that the tissue, that um, paper towel and wipe yourself, man. Look at this bodysuit I got on. It's like fake cups. Like, it's nothing in here. <laughs> I do not feel them up. I was very, thinking about, I was thinking about returning it, but it's like so cheap, it's like a waste of money to return it. But anyway, for the kite festival, definitely going back next year, it was so fun. I think when we went on the other side, it was so much better. I'm so glad that the boys, flew the kites and had a good experience and we could just go fly kites on our own like you don't have to be a kite festival so I'm gonna get them some more kites because the one we had like I said it was like from a couple of years ago and I want to get them like some legit kites the kites I saw today they were shitting on us and uh we gotta get them some legit kites so yeah but that's pretty much all I have to say y'all I'm about to end this vlog right now um Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is a pretty fun field vlog. We did a lot. Okay, I'm about to end this vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Me and the boys are so tanned. I cannot believe it was so hot today, y'all. It wasn't like scorching summertime hot, but it was like abnormally hot. I don't know what the high was today, but it's like April 7th. That is like a crazy... Oh my God. The summer is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. But anyway, as always, I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time.